Hello, my friend, you're welcome again to the last session of our series on proper house wiring. Okay, so this is the final stage of the series where we are going to cover up all the accessories and then we cover up the trunking, we cover up our consumer unit and then we supply power to the wiring. Stay tuned and let's do this to the end. Okay, so first of all, we cover up the main breaker. That is the main breaker that isolates the supply from the whole wiring. So we cover that properly. And then we cover up the terminals of the energy meter. Then we move on to the socket. We screw the sockets to the boxes and then we cover them properly. We do same to the second socket and then we cover it properly. Then the same way we fix all the switches to the boxes and then we cover them up. Then we now move to the lamp holders. And then we fix all the lamp holders to the circular boxes. Then we now cover the consumer unit nicely. And then we screw the cover to the box appropriately. So now we are done covering all the accessories and so we move to the trunking and then we cover all the trunking. Okay, so this is very important to note. During the installation of the trunking, when you measure the various lengths of the trunking for installation, you don't cut the trunking together with the cover. So that after the whole installation, during the covering of the trunking, you cut as you cover the various lamps of the trunking.
and then when cutting you pay careful attention to the measurement so you cut appropriately so that after cutting there will not be any space between the cover and then the switch or the accessory Alright, so beautifully, we are done with our wiring. It's left with only our lamps to put in, and then our wiring is set for use. Alright, so finally, finally, our house wiring is completely done. We have our lamps in, we have our bell ready. And we are very sure that this circuit is safe to be used. Now, um, there are times that do we carry out the inspection and the test, but it is also possible that after everything is done and all your accessories are covered, there may be some little issues. But most of the times, if you have followed the procedure from the beginning to the end, it's very difficult to have issues after the whole wiring is completed. All right, so now let's try and see if all our lights, our bell, and our sockets will work. Okay, so let's start from here. This is our bell. Good. All right, so this brings us to the end of our series on proper house wiring. If after watching this series, you have developed an interest to learn to become a professional electrician, you can contact me on the number below, and then I'll see how I can help you. There are a lot of such educative videos on my channel, so please, you can go through those videos and then learn from whichever you are interested in. And if you watch any of my videos and it is very useful to you, don't keep it to yourself alone. Share with others to also benefit. And don't forget to click on the like button anytime you like any of the videos you're watching. Thank you very much for watching. Stay connected. And in case you have not yet subscribed, kindly do so. Because I'm going to bring a lot more videos that can help you to learn more about electrical wiring and to understand how certain electrical systems work. See you again in the next video.